Hey guys, this is David King from WhiteningTeethSecrets.com. Today in this video I'm going to talk about something that I feel is very important and you should know this if you want to whiten your teeth uh, or just take care of your teeth and make sure your teeth are healthy. Uh, this is a very important uh, lesson to understand. So today I'm, I'm going to talk about fluoride. Now fluoride is hugely debated uh, between uh, people that know what they're talking about and people that want you to think they know what they're talking about. And what I mean by that is uh, there's one side of people, or there's one type, you know, group of people that say, you know, fluoride is good for your teeth, uh, you know, it helps your teeth be strong, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's an another side um, that says fluoride is actually bad for your teeth, and that fluoride is a poison, and it's in water, toothpaste, mouthwashes, and other types of things. And it's really, really interesting it's a really interesting argument and, de and debate. There's something called the fluoride deception. It's actually on YouTube, I believe. You can look it up. Um, that talks about it more in detail. But today I'm briefly going to cover uh, what fluoride is. Uh, first things first, there's two types of fluoride. Not many people know this or talk about it. People just say fluoride's bad or good. Well, there's two types of fluoride. No, fluoride. There's two types of fluoride. There's calcium fluoride and there's sodium fluoride. Now, calcium fluoride is found in small composites in the ground, whereas sodium fluoride is actually what is in our toothpastes, mouthwashes, and tap water. Calcium fluoride is okay in small amounts um, because you know it's from the earth and it's actually okay. But sodium fluoride is not found, it's not, it's not like calcium fluoride which is found in the earth. Sodium fluoride is created, it's something that uh, initially was actually used um, in Nazi Germany and in, in the Nazi concentration camps. Pretty shocking fact to know that sodium fluoride was used in the Nazi concentration camps and, and the water supply. Now, you might be wondering or asking why was uh, fluoride used in the Nazi concentration camps and the water supply? Uh, sodium fluoride was actually used in the concentration camps in Nazi uh, in the water to uh, uh, make uh, the minds of the people in the concentration camps uh, weaker, uh, uh, more uh, you know, likely to obey. Uh, more mundane, more, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, more um, basically susceptible to advice, more e easily influenced, I guess you could say. Uh, when, when tap water is added to the water, uh, you're more easily influenced and you, you're, e you're easier manipulated and you're just more, uh, you're, you don't put up mu mu as much of a fight, you don't think as much for yourself. Now it's interesting because I've done a lot of research into this and what I've found is that sodium fluoride, uh, it actually one of the first things that affects is your mind. Uh, al along with making your mind kind of uh, more agreeing to everything that's you know placed upon you, uh, you're you're more easily influenced. Uh, you don't you don't really have as much your 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 critical factor, your your consciousness, your cognitive factor, all these things you're thinking all kind of shift and they kind of become weaker and less uh, inquisitive and less curious. Um, another thing that happens is fluoride actually. Uh, one of the things it does is it goes into your pineal gland, and uh, the pineal gland is a it's a gland that actually is like your it looks like an eye, and uh, it's actually kind of referred to as your third eye if you've ever heard that, and it's in the middle of your head back here, and if you go straight through here, your pineal gland's way back there, and one of the things that uh, sodium fluoride does is it calcifies your pineal gland, and uh, what that does is calcifies calcification. Um, usually it's with calcium, but it can be with other things like fluoride in this case. Uh, the fluoride basically uh, hardens the pineal gland and makes it less, uh, it, it affects the health of it. When your body calcifies, it means it's becoming weaker, uh, it becomes more brittle, or, and it becomes uh, more, well, it's, that's actually a bad way to explain it. It becomes, hard, it becomes harder and more stiff, but it's weaker and more brittle because you're not as flexible and you're not as capable to move around if that makes sense. So it becomes weaker in that sense, in the sense of moving, but it's actually harder in terms of like a rock because it's calcified. But um, fluoride uh, affects your pineal gland, which uh, many people in cultures uh, see your uh, pineal gland as your uh, spiritual gateway. But I'm getting way off topic now, but that's what sodium fluoride does. It affects your mind, your pineal gland, and uh, it actually makes uh, your body and your mind kind of weaker in, in your pineal gland as well, which is in you know your head. Um, so. That's what I found from sodium fluoride. And sodium fluoride is not calcium fluoride, which is in the ground. Sodium fluoride is what is in the tap water, the toothpastes, uh, the mouthwashes and whatnot. And uh, if you look on your, your uh, toothpaste, they'll say sodium fluoride. And you can look this up online, Google sodium fluoride, YouTube. Go look on YouTube, sodium fluoride, wherever. Um, so my personal opinion and what you need to know if you want to wet your teeth, keep your teeth healthy, and not get more tooth stains, is to stay away from sodium fluoride. There are toothpastes that will say fluoride-free on them. 
Um, personally, I don't even use toothpaste because toothpaste has certain things in them that aren't healthy. There are some healthier toothpastes, um, but there are overall better things you can brush your teeth with. Personally, I use uh, neem. Neem is a, 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 an herb from India uh, used in uh, India, and it's been found to be very effective uh, for keeping your teeth healthy and white. And uh, also, uh, along with that, is tooth soap. I highly recommend tooth soap. Uh, as well as neem use, using those, um, you get, I've gotten great effects uh, with them. Tooth Soap is actually a company that creates uh, a soap for your teeth and it's, made, it's got like coconut oil and all these different things that are natural um, that, to brush your teeth with and it's an amazing company, amazing products. Uh, they have Tooth Soap, so I recommend Tooth Soap and neem powder. Tooth Soap is going to taste better and it probably works a little bit better uh, overall because it has more healthy ingredients in it, whereas neem is just neem. Uh, but I recommend you use both and kind of alternate because they're both beneficial. Um, but then also Tooth Soap uh, has a product called Microbrite uh, that's uh, actually made for teeth whitening. And I'll, I'll link that up in the description below. But um, the lesson in this video, guys, is to stay away from sodium fluoride. Stay away from fluoride because what is fluoride is sodium fluoride. Anything that has fluoride in it, it's going to be sodium fluoride, not calcium fluoride. Um, stay away from those toothpastes, mouthwashes, and tap water. Instead, drink spring or purified water. Um, sodium fluoride, actually, uh, it, you can get fluoride stains in your teeth from it, and it's not healthy for your body, your mind, uh, just, you know, your being. So, uh, my recommendation is to stay away from fluoride if you want to whiten your teeth and have healthier, uh, longer-lasting teeth, uh, and instead use tooth soap or neem powder. Uh, so, I'll put the links in the description below to those companies uh, and what I use and recommend. Uh, so be sure to visit the links in the uh, description on the website below. And uh, that's it for this video. This is David King from WhiteningTeethSecrets.com. We're whitening the teeth of the world one person at a time, starting with you. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Like this video by hitting the thumbs up below. Comment, leave your thoughts, feedbacks, feedbacks, something like that. And uh, please share this video, favorite it, and all that good stuff. So thanks for your help, support, and appreciation. Uh, we'll see you all on the websites below. And take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.